Happy Easter. Welcome to Our Lady of Peace Parish. Of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And 
Brothers and sisters, this is going to be with you this morning as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. And so as we begin this liturgy, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Do my fault, do my fault, do my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, Pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, 
You know what has happened over all Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit in power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first. He saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Bless you. 
blessed Easter to all of you gathering in this building and online with us today. It's amazing to think how things change so quickly. Time keeps marching on. It's a lot different from Ash Wednesday this year to Easter Sunday today, which we celebrate. It's truly one of paradox. The gospel we heard of the empty, empty tomb, and here we're in an almost, almost an empty church. You just think of this week, how things happen so quickly for the disciples, and for the holy women. Jesus' passion, trial, his death. Today, of course, the resurrection. This day that we've been anticipating over the Lent season. Many things in our lives try to grab our attention. Many different people, many different voices. Of course, right now with everything going on in the world, we have the coronavirus. And there's a lot of commentary about that. I'm not going to get into that. But as you know, that's what's in the news. And it's good to be alert, to be aware, to have that information. But what have we been using our time for? Do we spend our time with the risen Lord? Because if we are constantly looking to the news, we need to be informed. But if we're looking at the news all the time, and sometimes we do fall into that darkness. Sometimes we do fall into that despair. With the resurrection of the Lord this morning and for this Easter season is one of transformation. We know that the resurrection doesn't take away that pain. It doesn't take away sickness. But it does give us new horizon, a new set of eyes, that regardless of our mourning, our struggles, and our doubts, the resurrection gives us that hope and strength and that peace. This Easter season, you may find yourself being like St. Mary of Magdalene. At the tomb, she was in deep mourning. Maybe this Easter you find yourself being St. Peter, who is confused. He's running to the tomb, but He's confused. Perhaps this Easter, you're the other disciple, John, full of life, vigor, running to see the empty tomb. And maybe it might be like St. Thomas the Apostle, whom we'll hear about next week, who had that doubt. One of that proof of God's redemption. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? We know the victory today lies with Christ. It's a living victory not something of the past, but of today. And we are witnesses of these things 
as we heard in the Acts of the Apostles. This morning, we mock death. Darkness is dispersed. And the light, the joy, and the gentleness of God's grace overflows on each one of us. Happy Easter. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? Oh, I do. In all his works. I do. In all his empty show. I do. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author of Prince of sin. I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and was seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do. I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestow on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished to Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acquaint you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to launch you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. <coughs> For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. history of spirit in Christ. 
May you make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession and your presence we rely for our daily help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you after passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. To him and with him and with him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for and ever and ever. Christ, the Lamb, let us 
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and faith, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, we have to. Deacon Jeffrey and the entire Our Lady of Peace parish staff and school staff, we wish you and your family a blessed, joyful Easter season. The Lord be with you. And with the Lord's spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he, who restores you to eternal life and the resurrection of his only begotten Son, endow you with the prize of immortality. 
Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God.